still got nothing. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review, Gnaw Their Tongues, Eschatological Scatology. This is the Netherlands-based solo project of multi-instrumentalist Maurice, I, I believe his name is pronounced. And this project takes a lot of inspiration from black metal. Gnaw Their Tongues essentially borrows black metal's trademark distortion, tremolo guitar picking, retched vocals, blast beats as well, to create some very vile sounds that are fronted with equally vile album covers. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. And a lot of Gnaw Their Tongues tracks are, are built on ambient interludes, instrumental interludes, drones, noise scapes. Atmosphere is very essential to the Gnaw Their Tongues formula, which is why on so many of this project's previous LPs, clear song structures kind of get thrown out the window in favor of creating something that is more like a soundtrack for a long twisted staircase down to hell. The sounds on almost any <laughs> Gnaw Their Tongues LP are not welcoming by any means. However, the project looks to add depth to the ugliness on the tracks of, of its albums by bringing all of this extra instrumentation into the mix, real horns and strings and, and piano. And for the most part, this extra instrumentation is arranged impressively, bringing some nice musical chops to the chaos. Now, I will admit some of the stuff that comes out of this project can get kind of campy, whether it be like the sound effect of, of chains rattling or people choking or tormented screams. But ultimately what you are going to hear with a Gnaw Their Tongues release is something that is authentically disturbing. Now over the years, Gnaw Their Tongues has proved itself to be a pretty prolific project releasing sometimes three albums in one year. Now maybe eschatological scatology is not gnaw their tongues most fear inducing moment on record but i do think it's kind of their most accessible relatively now stylistically this lp feels way more straightforward than most gnaw their tongues releases really relying on much more of a metal momentum to get things kind of moving there are a lot more blast beats on this lp while there are still a lot of noisy and avant-garde and some i guess noise scape moments on this lp i i think this album presents a change that hardcore fans are pretty much going to perceive as being just straight up black metal. And I think the upside to this change that is going on with this LP is that Gnaw Their Tongues is, is definitely more of an assault on the ears. And it's an assault with very little relief. It's not like the, the very ugly tension on this album builds up to a catchy climax or a really memorable melody or anything like that. There's no happy ending to this thing. This album's measure of success is basically in forcing you to watch the world burn. Just kind of take a break, stop, and smell the corpses. Does any specific moment on this album do that better than any other moment? I can't really say. And that's mostly because the level of neurosis on the music from this album is just so watertight. When I listen to these tracks, which can number from four to 10 minutes, I do get a nice sense of progression. I'm not getting all too much repetition. Nothing really drags on too long. Even though everything is, is slathered in a very similarly filthy distortion. For example, the opening track on here starts just full blast guitars with blast beats coming from the drums, dissonant guitar arpeggios. From there, it kind of moves into even harsher walls of distortion, and from there, a very kind of chromatic bass line up against just this never-ending wall of strings layered on top of each other, wailing into oblivion. I mean, all in all, I feel like this album reaches such an extreme 
if you do enjoy it on the first track, most likely you're gonna listen through this thing and just like it. If this album turns you off from the get-go, I'm not really gonna push you and, and tell you, hey, you really should try out the rest of it. Uh, though I will say, I do feel like the one downside to the more abrasive approach that Gnaw Their Tongues has taken on this LP is that with previous albums, you got more of a variety of horrifying sounds at a variety of volumes. This, on the other hand, shoots for something much more claustrophobic and suffocating. And while it is pretty exciting at first to just be pummeled relentlessly, I did kind of feel myself after a handful of listens becoming kind of callous to it. To it. This is a decent to strong seven for me. What did you guys think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? Why? Let, let, let me know. Remember, the good comment, the great rate, and only the strong subscribe. Anthony Fantano. Gnaw their tongues forever. <laughs>